Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. So it is Saturday. I have just finished putting my second Calyx unit together and a bookcase. And I've put a whole lot of drawers in the Calyx unit, so I am stuffed. But after the bookstore on Friday, I did go to a couple of op shops and I grabbed a whole pile of stuff. So I thought I would do a haul video and show you what I got. So the first shop I went to was the, I think it's Hosanna Exelise. And I always, or Excelsius, I don't know. How do you say it? Just try and find. No, oh, that's all worse docket. Let's have a look at this one. Hosa Hosanna Excelsis. So I always forget about that op shop because it's tucked away behind the main street of where I live. So um, she has um, a whole lot of different stuff in there, but a lot of it is quite pricey. Funny thing is I told her about junk journals and that I um, use pages out of old books. So now she sells book page packs. <laughs> it's funny the influence you have on people. So... But they're a bit pricey too, so I won't be buying any. But there was this pack of paper. I wasn't sure what was in it, but I got sucked in by the roses. Looks like wrapping paper. So that might be vintage. I love the pattern though, so I'll use that. And then there was this black and white one. I'll keep that. I want to do a black and white journal sometime, so I'll keep that for that. And then there were some bags of fabric. So, this one I thought really nice for my retro country kitchen farmyard type journals when I ever get around to them. A nice red checkered piece. Frays nicely as well by the looks. And there was this lovely piece, I thought really nice for a boho journal. It's in your brown tones. Looks like it's got gold thread through it. Oh, it's a couple of pieces, that's good though. There we go. They're lovely. And some lace. I always sniff it to see if it's vintage. <laughs> I don't know how you can tell that it's vintage by sniffing it, but it looks vintagey. It's got a beautiful pattern on it as well. There was this notepad, which I could not leave behind. Beautiful birds. So that's gorgeous and an awesome size to fit into some tuck spots. was this bit and piece uh, Christmas ribbon pack. Have a quick look in there. If you have to use some of this in the next few days, probably. So that's a lovely satin ribbon. Oh, it might be that paper or even paper stuff. But it's got glitter stars. Just checking to see if the glitter comes off. It's a pet hate of mine <laughs> in glitter. I don't mind it when it stays on. It's just when it comes off. So that's really nice. Put it in my end. Got some of this which has wire in it. This is interesting. It's pink and gold. Well, pink, orange and red it looks like with wire in the edges as well. Some red with silver around the edges. This I really like, it's wired as well, but I love the pattern on that. Purple snowflakes. Silver ribbon. Some brown and gold. Really pretty. Some more tartan. Some plain red. Some hessian or whatever you call it. That stuff. 
that's really nice too with the glitter. Ah, the glitter might come off of that one. Comes off of what? Yeah, this one. <laughs> I have to do something about that. Glitter bombed my desk. And this, which is really nice as well. Be nice for some tags. And then the last thing that I grabbed from that store, just getting the glitter off so it doesn't get on everything else, was this, which was a little expensive. It was, well, it's not too bad, actually. Six dollars. But it really intrigued me. It's cashmere and lamb's wool stuffing, apparently. There are a few bags of it. But I just grabbed this one. I thought it'd be really nice to play with. Just some little scrappy bits to use. Put them on tags, covers. I like this bit that's tied up with too. That's quite nice. It's in a big bag. I'm just going to pull a tiny little bit out and have a look. But I thought for scrappies and that, it's all ready to go. So lots of real little bits, which is great if I'm making a collage tag or something and I just want a little bit. So I love that. Heaps of different colours in there for me. Different textures. So that's going to be some fun. And then I had seen a, a week or so ago that the big um, secondhand store Adra were having a 50% off for December. So for the whole month, things are, are half price. So I was meant to go there last week, but I didn't get there. So I thought I'll go and see if they've got anything that I might be interested in. I'm going to try not to go back there next week with that price. So I come home with... <laughs> I'm terrible. These, like, shoe storage boxes. There were heaps there. I think I come home with eight, but there were, like, 23 or something. Now, I think, what did they price them? A dollar. So they were 50 cents each. I thought that they might be good for storing some fabrics, actually. I'm thinking I might be able to put the, and because they've got the air holes in that too, put some fabrics in there and then store them in my um, wardrobe. So I'll have a look at those. Hopefully they'll be good for that sort of thing. And did grab a couple of clothes. So I think usually these are about $3. So these are $1.50. So I've got all of that. Beautiful lace. Looks nice and vintage too. I think these are shorts. Really long shorts. Weird. Or maybe it's actually a suit. I think it's a suit. Like a um, top and pant set thing. Then you've got the interior too, and it's a nice cream colour, so I'll be able to use all of that. So that's really nice for the price. And this one, which I could not resist. I could have bought heaps more, actually, at the price they were, but I was a bit worried because I wasn't counting as I went. So, <laughs> But I was really surprised when I got to the checkout that it wasn't that bad. So this has beautiful lace, all different sorts. So, you know, I could keep it and do a journal cover with it as is, or just cut all the little strips or bits and pieces. There's flowers and the border bits. It's really, really cool, that. And that's lined as well. So I stuck a lace on that for $1.50. Um, um, I'm just pulling it all out the bag as usual, because, yeah, I've got way lots of stuff. Um, this was, it was like $4, so I got this for $2. It's upholstery or curtain fabric by the looks. So yeah, it's backed. So yeah, curtain fabric. I thought that was quite nice, nice size for covers and I like that colour. So there's a fair bit of that, so a fair few covers there. And then there's a bit of this stuff. Looks like just the edge bits, but that's all right. Be able to do something with that. There we 
was this, which is an Ann Geddes paper thing. So two dollars. So that would have been a dollar. And it's got your papers and your envelopes. That's very pretty. I bought a couple of scarves. They were interesting ones and in colours. But this, the texture on it and fibre. It's one for you, Bonnie. It looks like algae. <laughs> so I had to grab that. I thought that was really interesting. So I think um, fern, mushroom, algae journal. I don't think I'll be doing one of them, but Bonnie might. And then there was this orange one. I love the vibrancy of the orange. And it's great because it's got this lacy stuff as well as this. I don't know if you'd call it chiffon. And these dangle bits. And then it's got these big circles. And a lot of them. So that's really, really cool. There was a photo frame that someone's made. I thought that might make a nice um, cover sometime. Or something like that. But I reckon on a cover. It's big. There was some Ada fabric, 22 hard ring size, 12 by 18. It's a nice fine one though. So, might be able to do some real little cross stitches on it. Might use it for something. It's really nice. Or some black work, something like that. There was some more lace. So this would have been a dollar fifty. So I've got that bit that I can cut bits out of, but this is a really nice size to do. Just wrap around a cover as well, I reckon. Table runner. I, want, I used to want to use these as table runners, but they just get dirty and get dust all over them. So, and then there's that one as well. There was a travel and expenses diary. I thought the papers in this were quite neat. Nice size again. Could um, take them out and fold them, put them in as pages, or that'd be nice for to slip into tuck spots and that. I don't even know half the stuff I've got here. I'll have a look through it. Uh, so this was two dollars, so I would have got it for a dollar, and it looks like just cut scraps of different papers. So we'll do a quick flick through. So these will be great. I might put them behind me and just play with them. Really, there's a card. So won't that? That'd be good to just grab if I need a bit of paper for in a tuck spot or to. Make a journaling card or something like that. And there was this. It's a stencil book. Oh, I didn't have a real good look. I just grabbed them because I did just get a big gel plate. I'm not sure how these thick stencils go on it, but I'll give anything a try. And I'm quite happy now, actually, because these are sea-themed ones, so dolphins and lobsters and all sorts on there. Hammerhead shark. Octopus. Clams and crabs. Prawn. Um, algae. <laughs> And this one's got safari animals. So I've got buffalo, and giraffe, and gorilla. That sort of thing. I'm not sure. What... Oh, that's a snake. <laughs> like, what is that? And then we've got a lion, crocodile, alligator, I should say, elephant. Not the best, those thick ones with the pictures that you get out of them, but. Depends what, what effect you want, really. This looks like um, inside of a house. So it's got your window dressings and bed frame and lamp and couch. 
got a vase with flowers. So this is similar with a stove and kitchen utensils. I saw that one. I thought, yeah, I'm grabbing it because I could ink um, through that and get the kitchen utensils. Which just would be fun. This one has Christmas stuff. Oh, might be able to use that. And this is letters. And then it's got lightning bolts and zigzags and stuff. Stencil fun, $3, so we would have got that for $2. And it's a neat little book too. I'll clean it up a bit and it's got this as well, which is a man on his horse doing rodeo stuff. Put them away after. Another stencil, candy cane. Might actually see if I fit that on my candy cane page in my December daily. Uh, more bits of paper. I don't know if these fill out. They might have done by the looks. How handy they already cut. Nice tag size. Little ducklings. It's pretty. was this a sealed on bond brieflets 16 printed notes look at that that is gorgeous it'd be hard to use those although there's a few in there oh there's is it just the two different ones or yeah it looks like there's two different prints they are so nice um and then another oh, looks like a few sets here um, a lot of the stuff I grabbed didn't have prices on it. That's why I was a bit worried about how much it was going to add up to. But the lady was lovely because she'd start like going, you know, this will be 50 cents or whatever. And then so much didn't have prices on it. She'd just put a pile over and say that will be three bucks. I was like, okay. So these are really nice envelopes. These princess papers. Stack of those. And some more really lovely envelopes. A little birdie in the corner again and roses. Ten more ten envelopes. Grab the little stuff out at the bottom. And got this beautiful beaded applique. These, which look like brads. It's just a few have been used, but they're white and black glittery brads. Some ribbon, blue with gold in it. So it was 25 cents or would have been. Another ruler, which has the um, serrated edge, which I've got one like this and I use it like a tear ruler. ruler. I probably don't need another one, but <laughs> I grabbed it anyway, so I'll put that with the other ones I have. Uh, Fun sticky notes. So I've got flamingo ones, squid ones, ice cream. These long skinny ones and then ones that say hi, YOLO, wow, fun and yay. There were music rolls. I think they had them at, yeah, $5, which I would not pay for them. But, of course, being half price, they were down to $2.50. They weren't in a very good condition, um, so I left uh, a few there and just grabbed the ones where the start is almost intact enough for me to use it for an envelope or something for a journal cover. So I've got that one. One pretty battered, but I will still use it. Might even collage or something with that one. This one's not too bad. A bit ripped, but if you line it, and I might even um, seal over the top of it next time I make an envelope with them. So I've got those three. Bags 
bag of random stuff that we're going to go through with you. Yeah, so I think that's the next thing we're doing. So there was this big bag, had no price on it. I think she gave it to me for $3. It looks like envelopes and Christmas stuff. I must start doing some envelopes with you guys because I certainly have a stack of the things. So here we go, some Christmas cards. In the envelopes. That one's really sweet. Someone's cut that out and used it. I might keep that out. I might be able to fit that into my December daily somewhere because I really love that. Like a whole lot. That's what the big pile is. A whole lot of Christmas cards. Just these plain ones. Season greetings. Merry Christmas. So I could cut them in half and use these as journaling cards in Christmas journals in the future. Or pockets. I reckon that might make pretty nice um, journaling cards though. And some more Christmas cards. Let's have a look at that one. I think that's pretty cool. Now this, are just all the cards in all of these? So it looks like there's some empty envelopes here and then a couple that have cards in them. And they're all quite similar. Some are handmade by the looks with recycled cards. And there's this wrapping paper. Oh, it's got little doggies on it. That's quite nice. And we've got two colours of it. The silver and the red by the looks. And there's just a stack of that. So that was all right. I can use all of that. Do some Christmas happy mail sometime with them. And then the other bag of randomness that I grabbed was this one. And again, I think she just gave it to me for $3. And I, I've got a funny feeling, I thought there was vellum in there, but I'll have a look, so I'm not sure. So this is Family Tree Journal Block. So we'll be able to use those squares that say Family Tree. And it's got a nice saying there too, a couple of them, and these words, so that will definitely get used. Now, is this vellum? Yeah, translucent paper. So that's a really interesting one. I'll just drag one out because I want to see if it's like vellum. It's quite um, masculine colours. Yeah, that's vellum. So that's really cool because that can get expensive. So there's two packs of that stuff. Which is pretty well the three three dollars done and dusted just there. Oh look, some scrap booking layouts, which I will keep. They might come in handy one day. Looks like a scrapbooking. Looks like some printables that someone has printed out and been fussy cutting. They're very cheery. Some green. Oh, it's all different colours. This is cardstock. So that's great. They're a good size to fold and use as cards. And this paper. It looks like. I don't know what size you call that. When I felt these, I thought these were big sheets of vellum because they're quite smooth, but they're not. They're just papers, but that's all right. Nice and big. That's a nice one for the autumn.
sugar plum baby chickadee. <laughs> So that was it for my haul on my Friday haul. Hope that was fun for you to look through. It was fun for me to look through. I thought I would um, show you now and then I can put it away while I'm putting all the other stuff away in my room. So take care, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend and I will see you again soon. Bye.